What is up guys? My name is Danny O'Donnell and we are here at Ultimate Ninjas Libertyville for the first WNL of the season. This is going to be a flow course, uh, a few general rules for the course. We will not be providing any chalk, so any chalk you want on the course will have to be provided by yourself. Bring a chalk bag. Uh, this is a flow course qualifier for World Ninja League and that means that Whoever gets the farthest in the course, the fastest, without falling. If you do fall, you can continue, but your official time and score is determined by when you fall. So whoever gets the farthest, the fastest. Um, only athletes, staff, and certified coaches by the WNL are allowed on the course and the warm-up area. If you do not have a certified coach to carry your chalk bag, uh, one of our staff members will carry that for you. And I'll talk about a few rules for dismounts in this course. We do have a few starting platforms that are a few dismount platforms that are also starting platforms for the next obstacle. So please keep in mind when we go over those. And the WNL has a three point clear system for their dismount, for their obstacle clearing. Uh, first, you have to break the plane of the dismount platform you have to disengage the previous obstacle, and then you have to touch the platform. At least one part of you has to touch the platform before you touch something out of bounds. You cannot completely overshoot the landing platform. And if it is the start platform or the next obstacle, you cannot overshoot. Uh, there, is a, there are a few linked obstacles in this course. The linked obstacles will have a designated touch point and that is when you transition from one obstacle, you clear that and move into the next. I will point those out, but pay, pay attention to those. And at any point throughout this course, you can reset on the starting platform. So if you jump up onto the obstacle and you decide you want to hop back down, you didn't like how it feels, you can reset on the starting platform, but make sure you do not touch anything out of bounds when you do so. All right. Let's get into the course. Starting off with obstacle number one, we have hop, skip, and a jump. This obstacle is feet only across these black stones and BOSU balls. These blue tumble track pads are just here supporting these from sliding. They are off limits. Let's go to Max Suskin with the demo. That is a clear. This dismount platform is the start platform for obstacle number two. Uh, as with all dismount platforms, hands and feet are allowed. So, obstacle two, starting right here, is called just rings. You are just gonna use the rings, hands only, to get to the dismount platform, which is the green box. Max with the demo. Weird. Moving on to obstacle number three, the escape. Starting platform is this blue mountain right here. Hands and feet are allowed on this rope. Hands are allowed on this bar right here, on this bar, and then the trapeze bar. And you are dismounting on this red pad. No truss is allowed, incidental contact is allowed. Max with the demo. Clear. Moving on to obstacle number four. This obstacle is called obstacle number four. Start platform right here. You can use this blue ring, this cone, this cannonball, and this is a linked obstacle. So when you touch this first silver peg, you clear obstacle number four, and you go straight into obstacle number five, which is called hangman. Now, obstacle number five, you can only use the silver pegs or these blue knobs on the end, and these green cliffhangers or green rock holds to get to the finish platform, which is this black pad right here. This truss and that truss right there are off limits. 
incidental only. Let's see a demo. That's a clear on number four. And clear on Hangman. Moving on, we have hammer time. So starting platform is the green pad. You're gonna use the trampoline. Hands and feet are allowed on only the green section of this barrel. And you are dismounting onto this green pad. Now it is loaded, so there is a magnet up there. Pay attention when we see the demo, it is going to swing. Go ahead, Max. And that is a clear. Next obstacle, we have helicopter crossing. Start platform is this block right here. You can use your hands on this ring, hands on this ring, hands are allowed on this blue propeller, and then your hands are allowed on the taped section only of this sky hook. Then you're gonna use, drop down to this balance beam, walk across to your finished platform, which is this green box. Now this is also the start platform of the next obstacle. Let's get a quick demo of helicopter crossing. That is a clear. Next up we have walking on water. So again, this green pad is the starting platform and you can only use feet only on the blue sections of this obstacle. No hands are allowed on the straps or on any part of this. Your dismount pad is this red pad. This is walking on water. Let's get a quick demo. That is a clear. Next obstacle, we have bar hopping. Your start platform is the finished platform of walking on water. So you're gonna start on this red pad. You can use the trampoline, hands only on this black bar. Now notice it is tied in place with straps. So it is not going to come out of that cradle. Hands are allowed on this black bar, only the black bar. And then your dismount is this pad right here. Okay, let's get a demo of bar hop. That is a clear. Next obstacle, we have the drawbridge. So starting on this tag block right here, this is a hands-only obstacle. You can use these rings and you can use the silver handles here, only the silver, this bottom and the one up there, to dismount on this yellow block. Now it is a very poor dismount block right now. That's where the name drawbridge comes into play. If you successfully do a throwback move, it is going to trigger that yellow block to drop and then you can land on it nicely. Now I will say, the way this is set up, if you make a throwback move facing this way and you spin it around, it will work fine. We have a safety in place where if you face that way and make a throwback move, it's not gonna work. It's just gonna bounce back at you, okay? So, Let's see Max with the demo for how to do the drawbridge.
not release until you heard that clink. That signifies the release of the drawbridge. Next obstacle, we have the devil mods. So starting platform is this red pad right here. Your hands are allowed on this devil step. This blue hold, the cliffhangers, and then any other devil step that is not marked with a white X. Now we have three devil steps marked. This one right here is off limits. That one and the one above it. These three are off limits, but your hands are allowed on any other devil step. And then you're gonna go across all the way down to the blue platform right here. Let's get a demo of the devil mods. And that is a clear. Moving on to the final obstacle of this course, the WNL here at Ultimate Ninjas Libertyville. We have in a pinch, your starting platform is this green box right here. This obstacle is completely hands only. Your hands are allowed on these rings. You can use this trapeze bar. You can use only the blue section of this hold right here and notice half of it is a jug. The other half is just a small cliffhanger ledge. Let's get a good view of that. And then you are allowed your hands only on the blue and black section of that pinch hold up there. The green is off limits. So if you touch the green or you use the sides, that will be a disqualification. And these red pads are completely off limits. No incidental contact at all is allowed. Your dismount is right here on these pit pillows. That is a clear and then you run over, smack that buzzer, hear the crowd go crazy and celebrate that clear. Let's get a demo are actually in the demo of this obstacle, you're gonna notice these red pads are not there. Uh, so please, these red pads will be there. Please pay attention and make note, these red pads will be there for your competition and they are off limits as well. Come on. Yes!